Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Think Future. My name is Chris Calabucas, and once again, we're coming at you live from deep in the heart of Silicon Valley, California. We're talking innovation startups, the future. Not necessarily those, and not necessarily in that order. If you're watching on YouTube, smack that subscribe button and hit that bell so you can be notified when a new show comes online. And if you're listening on your favorite podcast service, please subscribe and please drop a note on Apple Podcast. I greatly, greatly appreciate it. So we're talking about extrospection today. And what's extrospection, you ask? Well, it isn't, it's the opposite of introspection. And I think for some people, it's very difficult. I think what's happened lately over the last little while, I don't know, I don't know if this is true or not, but I get the sense that there is a brand new, huge market, huge market of introverts out there. I think the introvert, I think somebody should map this out. So, so, so people who've done these Myers-Briggs things, I wonder if they've ever collated as many people have done who have done Myers-Briggs over the last little while. There's, there's plenty of websites that do that, 16 personalities, etc. So there's all these Myers-Briggs things, which if you ask me, is not 100% accurate. It's, it's somewhat accurate, but it's not 100% accurate because as far as I'm concerned, people aren't really introverts or extroverts. They're, they're on a scale, right? But for some reason, they, you know, <laughs> all human beings, they like black and white. They like this or that, right? They like binary. So because we're so into binary, we have tr troubles with gray areas. So you're either an I something, 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 or you're an E something, something, something. But I digress. I wonder if they've ever done a study looking at the overall numbers of people who are either extroverts or introverts in this, the the studies that they've done, right? Because you can go to that site and fill out the forms and they'll tell you you're an ESTJ or an INTP or INTJ or whatever you are. I wonder if they've been able to aggregate all that data and go, wow, there's way more introverts now than we ever had before. And I think that's true. I think that's what's happened. I think we've driven. So not only it was, this is pre pandemic too. Pre pandemic, we've, I'm, I'm seeing way more people driven to introversion. And I think the reason why they're driven to introversion is because we have these tools now, these tools like what we're doing right now, like you guys, you are watching me on YouTube. We have these tools now where people can interact without ever facing each other face to face. They never need to do that. They could, somebody could stay at home all the time. And this is exactly what happened during the pandemic. Somebody could stay at home all the time and interact with everyone in the world and never need to leave their home. I remember seeing articles about this pre-pandemic where people were just sitting at home trying to live without ever leaving home. They didn't want to meet other people face to face. And the only interaction they had was maybe the DoorDash person who came to deliver their meal. So I wrote a blog post about this a long, long time ago saying that the new market huge new market and startup founders who are interested out there there is a huge new market of people who are introverts they introspect they look internally for things and they don't need friends they don't need other people i mean they have friends and acquaintances over online but they don't hang out with other people They're, they they like, prefer to be alone so if that's the case and I, i'd be curious to know if any of these websites have done any kinds of studies to see if there are so many more introverts now than there ever were before in the history of humans. Because I sense that that's the case. I sense that that's what's happening. And it, I mean, the pandemic, this is pre-pandemic, but then the pandemic drove even more people to become introverted, drove even more people to be stuck introspecting themselves. And unfortunately, that's a, I think that's a sad thing for innovation. Because if you ask me, a lot of where innovation comes from is the ability to look outside of yourself and see things that are in the outside world and make connections that were never there before. It's one of the things that we were talking about during the pandemic is that in the outside world, in the regular world, we were able to make serendipitous encounters, serendipitous connections, serendipitous everything, because as we were bouncing around through this world, as we were connecting 
to this side and that side of things where as we were moving through the world we would bump into other things and other people and we would make these serendipitous connections which would fire neurons in our head which would drive us to come up with brand new ideas like for example today I was just walking along and I saw a guy wearing a t-shirt that said embrace the suck and I thought embrace the suck it gave me a idea for a brand new startup seeing that guy's t-shirt and I never would have seen that guy's teacher t-shirt had I not been walking along where I was walking along and this has driven me to create a brand new business it just like sprung out of my head like Athena from the head of Zeus brand new business I'm working on it right now but if I hadn't seen this guy's t-shirt that said embrace the suck I never would have come up with the idea see what I'm saying so we're stuck in a world right now where there's so much introspection going on. People are not spending any time with other people. They're not connecting with other people. They're not serendip serendipitously bumping into other people. And I think we need to get back to that. We need to get back to more of this serendipitous people bouncing around like atoms in a, in a warmed up glass of water. The more we bump up against other people, the more we extrospect the more we view the rest of the world the more times we see these things out in the world the more times we observe other things and other people and other places the more connections our neurons can make and the more connections our neurons can make the more ideas we come up with and the more innovations we can generate so if you're sitting at your desk if you're afraid to go out there get out there extroversion not extroversion <laughs> extrospection is the way to go to develop innovation in the next new billion dollar startup that's it for me for today see you next time and until then don't forget to think future